Hey guys, Trick Popovich here from Bricks to Clicks, and I am doing a super amazing video for all you resellers out there, or perhaps someone that is interested in getting into this business and making a little bit of money. So I thought, what can I do to help you guys out on finding merchandise out there, buying merchandise, and how it kind of works? And you can kind of see my process a little bit. Uh, today, I am going to be showing you the bidding process. There's a lot of different ways to buy merchandise. You can have contacts directly to where they're gonna reach out through email or give you a call to tell you, hey, we got something available. Uh, you got silent bids to where you're just gonna drop bids in and hope they take your merchandise. You got buy it nows out there, so like Balk or 888 Lots or whoever might be out there that you're just going to buy the merchandise without the competitiveness of bidding. Then you're also gonna have sites like liquidation.com and BStock to where you're actually gonna put bids on this merchandise and it does get heated. And here we go. We're about to check it out. We're going to look for a couple pallets that we need to work on our next semi. Let's see what we find. Um, so this is on BSAC for Target. You do need to have your vendor license or your tax exempt license on file with them. If you do not have it, check out your state's restrictions or your state's laws, whatever it might be, to go ahead and get yourself one. Um, so then you can start buying yourself some merchandise. But remember, once you get one, you're going to start filing your taxes with them for sales tax and everything else. So here we go here. Hopefully you guys can see the screen that I am on. Um, this is Target B stock and this is what it looks like here. So right now I'm looking at South Carolina and South Carolina, it's going to be a little bit more expensive for us because of shipping. So we don't need a lot of merchandise, but we're going to see what we can find here. And we're going to find, I really need some smalls for the warehouse. The shipments that we have been getting have been big merchandise. So we're going to see what we can do here. Uh, I highlight, you know, the title here so I can see and add that over to my Excel format. Um, so we have this shipment here is guest returns, uh, seven pallets, $30,000, $500 worth of merchandise, uh, $1,225 here we have for where the current bid is and $937 in shipping. So you always want to take that in account before you buy it. Uh, this comes out to about seven cents on a dollar for the shipment. And again, guys, this is going to be a lot of small stuff. So we have a full manifest here on the bottom. If you scroll down a little bit, you can see it. And I want to see big ticket items down to small. So we do have here a bronze series nine rechargeable wet and dry cordless vac, Bissell, Crosswave, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to go down a little bit. And we can see, and I figured it would be because it's that time of year, you're going to have a ton of Halloween merchandise on this palette here. But also a lot of smalls, which small stuff has been doing really well for us. We can lot it and then sell it online. And then we also fill in our tables with it. Um, you know, there's definitely some money to be made here. And at, it just jumped. So at... $13.75, you're at $7.58 on the dollar. So we'll leave that up. That could be something we want to give a shot to. I'm going to go ahead and open up another screen so we can get back to seeing what we're looking at. And then today, we're only looking at South Carolina. So I'm actually going to open up a couple of screens. So then as I am looking at all of my shipments, I can jump back and forth really easy between all these auctions that are going on and you got to be quick um, if it's under five minutes and you put a bid in you are going to jump it by three minutes you're going to jump it by three minutes so here we have six pallets of seasonal items hardware pest supplies and more and again guys i'm not looking for big ticket items right now um, just because we've been getting big ticket items i want some small stuff so here you can see that Lego stands out to me, but it is a customer return shipment, as you guys can see right here. Guest returns, uh, twenty thousand um, dollars. So, but right there, you got you know three hundred dollars back. Some trees, which trees always sell well for us. Um, some more costumes and a lot of smalls. I saw diapers. Diapers are pretty hot for us right now. So this would be something I'm going to add over on my sheet to keep an eye on. And again. We are tight on time here. So the seven pallet banger is down to four minutes and 29 seconds. 
and the six palette banger here is down at three minutes and 30 seconds so we got a little bit of time the six palette is at nine cents on the dollar that still leaves you tons of money to make money on or tons of uh profit you know you got a lot of room to still make money on it uh, so again, you want to look here at your current bid, you want to look at your shipping cost, and then your average cost is $0.79 cents per item, but that is only on the current bid, that is not including your shipping cost. It's going to be closer to $1.60 on your item here. So we're going to go ahead and jump back over to here, and let's see what else we have. We still got some time here. And you can see some stuff, you know, goes for a lot of money here. You got... This here, this five palette of seasonal items, school supplies, it's probably going to have a lot of Halloween on it. Um, it's going to be under about 10 cents a dollar, and it does a lot of Halloween. And Halloween sells all year long for us. Um, so, you know, that could be something to look at, too. And again, guys, uh, I didn't say it in the beginning. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and share our videos so you can get more updates like this and other people can check it out. And drop us some comments. Let me know what you think. Hopefully, you're enjoying this new video, it is rapid. I mean, you're just rapid, rapid, rapid trying to buy um, on here as time is counting down. Time is counting down on us. So here is going to be seven pallets of wall decor, window treatments, lighting, 626 items on this. Um, you know, I'm going to look real quick, just see what we have on this manifest. So it's pretty similar to a lot of stuff we've been getting in. Um, so I'm going to try to steer clear from that. The seven pallets of seasonal items did jump by another almost 200 bucks here. So we're up to eight cents on a dollar on that. And on the six pallet of seasonals, uh, it is staying at a minute and 24 seconds. No one has put another bit on that, which I'm really intrigued by that. It does have 11 commercial. BTU window ACs. I'm going to think those are new. That many. 11, yeah. That many, yeah. Even if half were returns. We could still, you know, we'll plug in and check them out, and we don't have much into it. You know, at $0.09 cents on a dollar, we could definitely sell those a lot cheaper. So let's go ahead. We're going to drop a bid on those six pallets at $0.09. Um, you know, you guys can put in whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and do eleven fifty nine. You say, why that number? What if their bid was one thousand one hundred fifty dollars? Now you're going to jump it up, and I'm still underneath ten cents a dollar, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this. Let's see. We are winning right now at one thousand one hundred thirty three dollars. So we are under ten cents on the dollar, which really anything you can get out there under ten cents on the dollar is going to be a really good buy for you. Uh, we'll scroll down, see what else we have here. Um, you know, customer return toys. Right now, I'm seeing a lot of. Uh, sporting good stuff on here, um, but more so uh, like Speedo and Goggles, stuff that we really don't want to mess with. This here, I do not see a lot of that type of stuff on it. We can scroll over here, adjust your category. So you have just a little bit of sporting goods on here. Here's your seasonal stuff that I'm talking about. And again, guys, I apologize if it's going fast. This is the world of reselling. If you want to bid, this is what you're going to do. So you got to be quick. You got to do your research ahead of time. And you got to try to get the merchandise that's going to make the most profit for you. And this is from B-Stock. This is from B-Stock. It's currently what we're looking at. You know, these toys right now, heading into the holidays, you know, today is uh, November 18th. Toys are expensive. These toys right now, do the math on it. Add those two numbers up, your current bid and your shipping. Divide that by your ex, um, your uh, retail, and you're looking at $0.41 cents on the dollar for toys. There is no money for me to be made there. Jumping back over to the seasonal items, we are outbid. So someone put a bid in of $1,184, so we are outbid. We have to do them in increments of 25 so I still think there's money there. If we jump it up another $100, we will be at 10 cents and a half on it. And I think that is worth it. And then also the seasonal jewelry items here. Uh, this is at 8 cents on the dollar. This is still a good buy. You can see all of these big ticket items right here that we can make money on. So I'm not going to give up on this yet. You can see too there's some good Legos on here. So if we do search and we type in some Legos here... So we got a Lego at 120, we got another Lego at 90, 
got Lego at 54, 53. Uh, we got Lego at 50. So there's some Legos on here, and Legos always sell quick, even if they are for parts. So let's go ahead and drop a bid on that one at 16. 59 actually i'm gonna mix it up we're gonna do 1677 let's see if this does anything that is going to give us a lead so we're at 1625 1625 so we we'll jump on here we're gonna go ahead and jump in at 1269 that's still at 10 cents and 44th of a cent so 10 and a half cents on a dollar and i'm gonna wait to put my bid here um, just to see if it's going to jump again. We'll see what we have over here. Go ahead. We're going to refresh our page. We're going to hit F5, refresh our page, and let's see what else we have here. So currently we are on seven. So <clears throat> the toys, we know we're going to skip. We just got outbid again on these seven pallets. So if we type in the 1702, this shipment here that you're seeing is currently at eight cents almost nine cents on a dollar this one um is still going and let's see what else we have down here so we have here 11 pallets of furniture and furniture does sell well for us but it is a little bit slower moving but this is some nice furniture some high ticket furniture here and it is 11 pallets so this furniture is going to be a little bit more costly for us if we type in are 1585 1511 and then we go 11980 we're at 25 cents on a dollar on the furniture that's more than what i want to pay for furniture i'd rather stick with these smalls right now than to mess with that furniture at that price so we're going to go jump back over here uh this one at six pallets twenty thousand dollars i am still feeling pretty good about that one and again guys that's still only Ten and a half cents and a dollar, and then currently the seven pallet one is at nine cents on a dollar. If we jump it up to eight nineteen, we'll be at nine cents. So it just jumps a little bit because you are looking at thirty thousand dollars worth of inventory. Um, and again, these are customer returns. There's no guarantee. It could all be trash. Uh, but then again. You can turn trash into cash if it's brand new or if you can um, lot some stuff together. So we're going to go ahead and drop our bid in on this one. And bam, we're winning again on the six pallet seasonal item. And this could go on literally for an hour, hour and a half. I've sat here before and I have gone to war with people. You do not know the other screen names of who's bidding on the merchandise. All you know is someone else is bidding you up that is it so we'll check this one here this was 800 it's 1500 dollars to ship it and remember guys anything over 11 pallets is a semi load so that shipping cost that you see right here is going to get refunded back in a credit to you if it is over 11 pallets so that's why we always get semis because after 11 pallets everything else is technically shipping free you're going to get money back in the form of credit so here, let's scroll down a little bit. We have a nursery glider dining room set. And this furniture is at 20 cents on the dollar. It is some really nice furniture when you scroll down and you look at this. Uh, this is some pretty cool stuff. Um, again, it is a risk you're taking because there is no guarantee on furniture. It's sold as is where is, as with anything else. Um, but if we have the extra space on the semi, that $1,500 is gonna get refunded back to us on credit. You do have to pay it up front. And all this is wire transfer. This is wire transfer. So you wanna keep that in mind that there is no credit card. You do have to send them cash. All right, so this seven pallet seasonal one is at uh, 1830. If I jump it up to 1959, let's say, um, it is at nine and a half cents on a dollar. It is still a good buy because we see here we have, if this stuff is new, 300, 600, 900, 1200. So right there between those three is going to be a big chunk of the pallet back. And then everything else 
we're just going to have to verify a lot of it, but it does give us a ton of smalls and we do make money on the smalls. It fills their shelves up. We can lot it, ship the stuff out, and it is a ton of smalls. So I want to jump over to our seasonal one, see how that's doing. We're down to two minutes. And again, guys, F5 will refresh your screen. Double check it because sometimes it gets locked in. You think you win, you refresh, and you realize you lost it by $25. But this one, I'm really intrigued by with all of those window ACs. 11 ACs is a lot of ACs. It's not the season, um, but we have the room to store it, and you never know. You put it priced right, someone will buy that stuff. All right, what else do we have out here that is intriguing to me? Uh, so we already looked at the truckload. We looked at the lighting which is going for a lot. And then we looked at the eight pallets here. So actually we looked at those, but if that was that much, this one's gonna be pretty similar. We'll jump back over to these six pallets, see what's going on here. So now, you know, we're at the point, we have seven pallets ready to ship. Um, you know, you kind of determine now uh, another four pallets, everything's free shipping after that. So if you take into account the shipping costs and deduct it, you know, you're actually saving yourself a quite a bit of money um, from that. So then the percents that I'm saying isn't really accurate because it's going to end up being free shipping technically, but you do pay it up front. So we got these wall storage here. Let's see this one. Uh, this is at 1575907 for shipping and 13453. We're at 19 cents on the dollar. And this is gonna be a lot of the Casa Luna. Um, we can see here one, two Casa Lunas. And those are the sheet sets. We sell those sheet sets all day for 100 bucks on eBay. They do sell quick for us. Um, and again, guys, it is at 18 cents on the dollar for that one. So we're gonna go ahead and open up another screen and look at that other furniture shipment that we were looking at. This one here has nine seconds left. We're about to win it unless someone put a bid in. Boom, right there. And that's how you do it. You snipe it last second to hope no one's watching. So we got sniped in that last one and it added three more minutes. There were three seconds left on this. So we're going to have to go ahead and drop another bid in. And this is how you start getting emotionally attached to it because you are three seconds away. You're about to win it. It's under 11 cents on a dollar. That's going to be a really good buy for you. So we'll play his game. I see his 1294. I will raise him. What do you guys want to go to here? Let's do that. 1401. We'll play his little game. 1401. I'll put us at 11 cents on the dollar. And then over here, this baby's jumping up a lot. Let's jump back onto our screen here. And we're going to let this run down a little bit. I'll do the same thing he just did to me. And it's going to come out to who survives the longest on here. And we'll check it out. And I tell you, if someone out there is the bidder on these and you're watching my video, drop me a message, man. I think it's fun to have the competitiveness on here. Uh, you know, sometimes it does get frustrating because you're like, damn, I really wanted that shipment. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. So uh, we need to make sure that we are looking at South Carolina. That was Indiana. So we're going to jump over to South Carolina. And we're also going to make sure to keep an eye on these guys over here. And I apologize, guys, that the screens are flipping so quick. There is no way around that at all just because we are moving fast. So this truckload of furniture here, I am intrigued by it. You know, it's $800 bucks plus $1,500 to ship it. But remember, we're going to get that $1,500 back. So it's at $0.21 cents on the dollar. If you take that $1,500 away, you're at $0.07 cents on the dollar for those nine pallets. That is a steal at 800 bucks for all this stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop a bid on these furniture pallets because we will sell this stuff all day long. Let's go ahead and drop a bid in right now. There we go. So we're at 851 on that. So we got 851, 1521. Um, so we're actually at 22 cents on the dollar. But remember, we're gonna drop the shipping out because we will pay for that shipping up front. But I'm feeling good about that. So we're going to go ahead and let this guy think, he, think he's going to win this one, the six pallet of seasonal. And then we're going to go ahead and come in and do what he just did to us and snipe it from us. 
But be careful doing it because if you got a delay in your system, don't let it get too low because then you'll screw yourself over. Uh, I've done that before to where you think you're about to win. You put the bid in and it says it expired. So sometimes it is off a couple of seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my bid in now for this one, the six pallets of seasonal. Bam, there it is. We are back winning. And again, guys, we are at seven pallets right now. So if we get that plus the nine plus the six, we're going to be at 15. We'll be at 22 pallets, which I'll be happy with. And then we'll leave it at that. So we're going to focus on these two pallets here. These two pallets here is what we're going to focus on. Oh, add us a little bit more furniture to keep us busy. And we're going to pick up some small merchandise um, on here. So we got seven, nine, six. And you might be wondering where am I getting the seven from? Because we already have seven pallets that I purchased uh, the other day. Um, and you do have on here 48 hours to make payment. So today is going to be not count. So then you got tomorrow and then you got the next day. Today is my third day. Um, so they don't count today. So you essentially have three days to go ahead and get what you need to get. This one ended. So we're going to go ahead and just drop that off. So we'll go back to the main screen and we are down to Four auctions right now going on out here. Four auctions going on. I should be an announcer, don't you think? I'd be a good, uh, good announcer. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. And Chris fumbles. Chris fumbles on the goal line. After a 99 run, he fumbles. Is that You probably heard that a lot. No. No? Never? Never fumble on the goal line? Not on the goal line. You guys uh, probably don't know this, um, but Chris was actually a... We have a creeper. Go, yeah. We're filming, but go ahead. I'm filming. You can come in. <laughs> if you guys haven't met Jeff yet, this is Jeff. I literally told you he was filming. Yeah, this is Jeff. Because I heard you yell. Say hi, Jeff, to everyone. Hello. They're like creeper. What do you want? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drop another bid on this shipment here. Jeff's probably like, all you do, Chuck, is just film all day. But this is what the people want. They, they want us. It's good content. It's good content. It is good content. We're going to drop a bid in right now before it hits that five minute mark. Bam! And we're winning again. Remember, guys, if it's a, under five minutes, three more minutes will get added to your auction. So drop a bid in before the five minute mark because it might be enough to deter someone to not put another bid in. Because if you wait again until it's down to one minute, you're going to add three more minutes to it once you put your bid in. So we're gonna go ahead and refresh this screen again, see where we are. Um, the clothing, I don't care about, but you can get really good deals with clothing. It is a, um, a when we have the space for it, I do buy clothing. Cause as you can see, I mean, you get clothing for 10 cents on a dollar. It adds up um, really well, especially with how we sell it. Cause we do sell the clothing by the pound, by the pound we sell it for. So we got 10 seconds left in the seasonal items. Is this guy going to snipe us again? Five, four. What do you think, Chris? Is he going to snipe us? I don't yes. know. No, no. Bam, check in. We're going to refresh. Refresh our page here. Refresh our page. Let's see what we got. Auction ended. We won that one, guys. So that one is ours. So the final number on that was 10 cents. 10.75 cents, however you want to say that. Um, so just shy of 11 cents. That's a good buy all day long, um, especially that we're going to pick up some Lego and we're going to pick up uh, some Halloween costumes. Two Legos on their portions for 150 bucks a piece could turn out to be really, really good. Let's jump over to our furniture because now we're all in. As far as I'm concerned, we're all in at this point. We have to be. I got to pay for the shipments today. Um, so either it needs to be the seasonal items or it needs to be the furniture. I'm believing that the furniture, even though it's a little bit more expensive, will actually end up being a better buy for us. So let's go ahead and look at this furniture right now. We're at uh, $12.59. Remember, the shipping at this point is going to be free. So we're going to go ahead and delete that out there. So we're out uh, 12 cents on a dollar for the furniture. And this furniture here, you know, when you look at it, could end up being some really, really good money for us. 
Um, you know, when you got the nursery glider, $300 a piece, let's say you sold them for $200 a piece, there's $400 back from the $1,200. Um, you got a dining room five piece set for $600. And my guess is something's going to be missing from that dining room set. Uh, when you buy custom return furniture, it normally um, comes good, but you also are going to run into some issues with pieces missing, maybe a little bit of damage to it. But there's some nice stuff here a Blackstone uh, Tailgator combo. And we just sold two of uh, one of those the Tailgator, the Black, Blackstone. It's like 150 bucks or something. Yeah. Uh, there's two on there. There's an indoor shag rug, a solid rug, um, two ottomans. So, you know, it's, it's a tough call because what do you do here? You got either the seasonal items you go on, and that puts us down to 20 pallets, which is fine. And the seasonal items, that would be 10 cents on the dollar. Um, but again, guys, it's going to be a lot of small stuff or... You buy the furniture and you sell a couple pieces and you get your money back really quick. So either you tie up money, either way you're going to tie up money. So it's tough to say what the best answer is. I'm not a big rug guy. We do sell the rugs, but we got to sell them pretty cheap. Like this 9 by 12 shag woven rug here. It's $400. We might end up selling that for only 100 bucks. We just don't do well with rugs. Again, guys, if you're enjoying the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button over in the corner. Turn on notifications so you get updates on the next videos. Drop us some comments. If you like this video and want to see more of this, drop me comments. Let me know. Give me feedback. I really do appreciate it. And share our videos. Help other resellers out there get in the market and kind of see how this actually works. All right. I'm going to I'm gonna take a drink of my... I've been wondering if you Woo! were at the end. I do. I, I'm talking, man. I'm trying to give you guys everything. Play by play. Your mouth is just a running. Chris is also in the room with us. He's here for inspiration and for him to be like, damn it, are you serious? We got to work that crap. What would you rather work? Smalls to fill the shelves or more furniture? I feel like we need smalls. Smalls. Yeah. We need smalls. All right. We're going to go ahead and hit the small one then. We're going to have more furniture than we can. We're going to hit the small. So the small, if you do take out shipping, let me break it down for you guys. So the cost is $23.25, shipping's $9.37. Value is $30,500. That's almost 11 cents on a dollar, 10.81 cents on the dollar. If we delete the shipping, it will actually bring it down to 7.73 cents on the dollar. Why do you delete the shipping? Because the shipping is going to get credited back to us. Because we're over 11 pallets. Tell them not me. They know already. <laughs> they know already. I've said it like four times. You just aren't, you just, you're over there just not even paying attention to me. Tuning you out. Tuning me out, homie. All right. So, let's go ahead and see if we can't snipe this one. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and jump this up, guys. $124. I don't want to go by 25 bucks. I know I'm going to get something and I need something. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get this. I'm going to drop the bid in now. So that puts us up at 23.75. So right now we're at 10.86 cents on a dollar. Or if you delete that shipping, we are at 7.9 cents on a dollar. So let's see where this takes us. And now it's just a waiting game. Absolutely winning game. Will we win this seven pallets? We're about to find out. This is probably the stuff I should do live. They'd probably get a kick out of that. You guys would enjoy that. We can comment, talk to each other. Chuck, get it. But you know what would happen if I'm doing it live? Someone would convince you to buy something you don't want to buy. Not even that. They would jump on and bid me up. Mm. They know they hear me talking. They're like, man, he really wants it? How bad do you want it, Chuck? All right. And then until I drop it on him. Drop it like it's hot. All right, so you can see someone just put a bid in for $24.25. So I'm sure another bid is going to come in. Right there it is. Bam, $24.84. So this person here, I'm going to guess, and you kind of try to figure where their threshold's at. You know, it's $24.84. Um, would they go above $2,500? I don't know. We're about to find out, though. 
because I'm going to drop it in. Because at this point, I'm all in. I'm going to win this pallet no matter what because I got to finalize my semi today and shipping is going to be free on this. So I'm going to pay whatever I need to pay for the semi so it doesn't make a difference. Maybe uh, whoever's on the other side, best of luck to you. But this pallet's mine. It is mine. Maybe it's, uh, you think it's Bezos on the other side? I don't think so. All right, so we're gonna let this scroll down a little bit until I hit the five minute mark. And then we'll let the frustration build up. It's almost five o'clock and you know what? They might wanna go home or they got something to do. They gotta take their kids to dance. They gotta take their kids to some after school activity and they don't have the time to keep dropping a bid in and they keep nickel and diamond their bids by 25 bucks, go figure. And you guys can look here too at the this little uh, bid portion, you can see their highest bid. So my bid was here at twenty four fifty nine. Their bid was at twenty four eighty four, and we know that they did a double bid. So they typed in that one bid, and then they jumped it up a lot. So we were winning at twenty four fifty nine. So let's go ahead, and we're going to get ready to drop our bid in. And this should put us in the lead because um, I'm guessing he probably did 25 and some change. Let's find out. So we're going to go ahead and raise our bid. I'm going to do it at 5 minutes and 10 seconds, so it gives me a little bit more time. And action. So we are winning. We are winning at 25.25. But remember, guys, it really is 35.06 because of shipping. I still have to pay the shipping. I know I keep saying... It's, it's free shipping, but I have to pay it and I get it back in credit. So then I'll use that credit to put it towards my next shipment, which we buy one every week anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. But we're flying through the semi now that we're doing because it is primarily all furniture. Let's jump over, look at this nine pallet banger again, just to see what's going on here. So we got 1326. Uh, without the shipping, it's at 12 and a half cents on a dollar. With the shipping, again, that we have to pay, we're at 26 and three quarters on a dollar. So, and these are neck to neck. So, one way or another, we're going to win one of these pallets. I'm still feeling pretty confident on this one. We'll see how this baby goes. This has one of those Crosswave Pet Pro multi service dry vac, the Bissos. Um, I feel like that was the one that Ashley just purchased. And then we saw a lot of Legos, a lot of smalls on it. And again, guys, Halloween costumes sell all year long for us. I feel like we've sold more Halloween costumes after Halloween than we did yeah. before Halloween. It's crazy. They sell all year long. It's insane. All right. This is like people having their own party or something like that. The party don't start till I walk in. Drop, drop a comment. What song is that from? I bet you don't know what song it is. Exactly. I'm not going to tell you because I don't want to ruin it. No, Snoop Dogg. Oh! Snoop Dogg. I don't remember. Snoop Dogg. Isn't Snoop Dogg in Too Short? Isn't it? Too Short Baby coming straight out of Oakland. All right, guys. So we got three minutes and ten seconds. And you guys can see how long you've been watching. This it happens every single week, and this is what we do. We also buy other merchandise you guys don't see. Um, you know, we got some direct contacts that we're purchasing merchandise from. There's other sites that we use, other places that we're going to get merchandise from. Um, but I wanted to show you guys B stock. I wanted to show you guys B stock. Uh, Liquidation.com is another good one. There is a video on my site on this uh, YouTube page. Go look it up. It's called Top Secret Video or whatever it is. I go over 19 different companies to buy merchandise from. A lot of the companies I have personally used, and I recommend a lot of them. Um, you know, you got to find what works well for you out there, what type of merchandise interests you, because this needs to be a hobby, something you enjoy to do. Um, you know, I've been doing this now for five years full time. Um, I was doing it when I was in retail too. I was in retail for 17 years as a salary manager. Uh, started this in my basement when I was doing both jobs, I would call it. Um, and it got too much, man. It was tough trying to do retail and this. So I finally convinced the wife that and the family, you know, I'm missing so much with you guys because of my retail job. I walked away from a six-figure salary and started this out of my basement. 
And to think, you know, five years later, we have a warehouse, you know, we're doing it together, at, you know, with my friends inside the warehouse. They have the same freedom that I have. They don't miss anything with their family. And there's no stress, uh, no corporate BS out there. Um, and it's more like a community and it's been just an amazing ride. You know, we're in our warehouse. We're looking to build another warehouse next door. A TV series and an A&E and a history channel called Extreme Unboxing. Who would have ever thought that would have happened? And all it took was for me to get the courage and make that jump. So if you guys are watching, you know, you'll get out what you put into this. You know, you don't have to go in full force and try to buy these semis. I started off with just cartons out of my house and, you know, took what I made off of one carton and reinvested it into the next carton and the next carton and the next carton. And finally a pallet and then another pallet and then a couple pallets and then you know, before you know it, you're going to work yourself up to however you think you want to be. You know, there's some people out there that just move semis a week. It's absolutely amazing. Um, you know, so anything is possible if you stick to it. And you guys are more than welcome to message me. I will tell you almost everything and anything that I know to help you guys be successful out there. Um, I even give you connects for uh, freight carriers, contacts that I have, uh, my tax account, I'll give you his information. I've been with him for 12 years. Um, but anything's possible if you put your mind through it or to it and you know you make that leap and at some point your parachute will open. So coming back to this, we have eight seconds left. Will he snipe it or will he let us go? Was $2,500 his limit? And I'm going to say it was. So it is checking, we're good, let's see. Auction ended. Let's refresh to verify this. So we did win this for $25.25. So that's going to lower our cost a little bit. And that brings us down to 11.35 cents on a dollar. And if we get rid of the shipping, because that shipping will be brought back to us, we will be at 8 cents on the dollar. 8.28 cents on a dollar. That's a pretty good buy. 8 cents. 8 and a quarter cent on the dollar. Can't go wrong with that. So that will bring us to seven, seven, and six. So we have 20 pallets now, which is perfect. I'll push it to get delivered next week. Um, by then, that would be great. We just had 26 pallets delivered yesterday, and we're already through nine, ten of them. Yeah, I think We are flying. Jeff has really been a big help for us. Uh, we just brought him on board last Wednesday. Um, and it does take a lot off our plate. You know, we're in here, he's managing eBay right now. I'm looking at some more shipments, managing a little bit of Facebook, and he's out there taking care of customers, uh, getting through the furniture and that. Um, so it is nice having an extra hand. So uh, if you're out there and you're watching, get people on board. You know, you may not think you can afford them, but you'd be surprised how much more you can bring in when you bring another body on board. So. Overall, guys, that's what I have for you. I need to get these paid for by 5 o'clock or they are going to yell at me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Kind of show you a little bit of action out there of how BSOC works and how to get merchandise. So be sure, again, guys, hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate that support. Turn on notifications to get updates and more fun videos. We do a lot of videos and unboxings. And share us. Tell your friends, your family, strangers. I don't care. Tell everyone. And share us out there. We really do appreciate that. And drop us comments. Let us know what you think about the videos and what videos you guys would like to see. So thanks so much, guys, for watching. Get out there and make yourself some money.